Cheryl Lazar coming to you live from the Fox booth at Comic-Con in San Diego. We are live all weekend long on Facebook.com slash Fox TV. So click that like button and also share this video. We want to hear from you. So leave those questions and comments in the comment section below. With me now, the cast stars of The Exorcist. Woo! 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 Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, have, we actually have people watching. Yeah. They're just like watching in awe of all of you. How's it going? Good. 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 Thanks for having a Very crazy good. day. Yes, make sure you talk in your mic. Yeah, We're okay. having a crazy day. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> These are doesn't cool. exist, what you say. Okay. <laughs> How's Comic-Con for all of you? Have you been to Comic-Con before? No, no, I haven't. It, but, and this is the first view of it that we've got. We've been no. mostly in like little hotel rooms and stuff, but this is wild. Really? It's so cool. Describe the energy, like the, yeah. what you, what, describe the energy here for all of you who've never been here. It's wet. It's very, sweaty. It's a little sweaty. humid. Uh, <laughs> when I was arriving yesterday, it's it's incredible, like how San Diego transforms itself for this event. It's yeah. incredible. So for everyone who obviously hasn't seen the show yet, uh, say your names and the characters you play. Starting with you. Oh God, I didn't hear the question. The names and uh, your names. <laughs> so introduce away. yourself okay. and the characters you play. Uh, I'm Jeremy Slater. I'm the the creator and executive producer. Uh, Gina Davis, I play Angela Rance. Alfonso Herrera, uh, Tomas Ortega. Hi, I'm Hannah Kasolka, and I play Casey Rance. Uh, I'm Ben Daniels, and I play Father Marcus, the Exorcist. I'm Brianne Howie, and I play Cat Rance. So, were you fans of the original movie? I'm sure this is something everyone is asking. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course. We all saw it as kids, right? Did everybody see when yeah. I wasn't kids? allowed to watch it. <laughs> uh, but you've so made up I for it So I watched it since. as an adult because, I, but yeah, I made up for it. But it stuck with people. I mean, that's, I think that's why, yeah. Scarred for life. Yes, yeah, so I was going to say, were you scared? Like, I know when I watched it when I was younger, it freaked me out. So how scared were you of it and then bringing it to a show? Were you, was there a lot of fear? I was 10 years old the first time I saw the film. So I watched it with my uh, with my little uh, brother. Oh, that's nice. So he was seven. <laughs> You're so a <bad> <laughs> he had the worst part. So we were both very very scary. We actually a long time ago. Oh, it was a long time. So it wasn't like last week. No, you were no, seven no, no, no. Years I was ten years old. So, so it now was you're seeing the impact. A long time ago. Now you're seeing the impact of watching that. Uh, we actually have a fan poll today. We are asking fans: Do you think exorcisms are real? Leave your comments and answers in the comment section. Say hashtag yes or hashtag no, and that's the way we'll get the results. And you'll be brought up at the end of this show. You could be a star. You could be a participant in this live stream. We also have some more fan questions. We actually got this one that we uh, we got this question asked on the streets of San Diego, right here at Comic Con, from a fan. So wow. let's roll that question right now. Where is it going to roll? Hi, my name is Sara, and I'm from Mexico, and I want to know how you're going to capture the feeling uh, of the original movie on the series. That's a great question. I'm sure that's yeah. something a lot of people ask as well. How are you going to translate that movie into a TV series? And obviously well, you yeah. would yeah. know this the best. Yeah, uh, it's really hard. It's yeah. really terrifying, and it helps if you have a great cast. Um, we have a, a writer's room full of smart, artsy-fartsy New York City playwrights, um, giving them brilliant words to say. And we had uh, Rupert Wyatt uh, directing and Alex Dissenhoff as our DP, who really gave this um, a cinematic look and feel and, and really made this look like no other show on television. Um, and also modernizing it, right? Well, it's a, it, it, the, the original novel and the original movie live in a very real world. It's not a comic book world at yeah. all. And I think... Um, Rupert um, really made sure we had one foot firmly grounded in reality at all times. So it has a very real feel. And it's not a remake of the original movie. It's, it, it's, it lives in the same world. It's an inspiration. Yeah. Well, those, those events yeah. happened in the 70s in our yeah. thing. So yeah. I would have seen a movie later. with Chris McNeil in it, for example. In my yeah. What were you going to say? I was just going to say that, that, that um, 
uh, the events of this series acknowledge that that actually that took place. That the events in the movie took place in in reality. So, uh, so when when the priests are like researching other exorcisms, that will come up. And, why are people so fascinated by exorcisms and all this type of super, well, I guess not supernatural stuff to some people? I think it has to do, well, the original film, it has to do with the, the characters and how well and how grounded that, that film was. And I think this is not the exception. This, uh, this show, this TV show, uh, what Rupert did or what we were all trying to do is to have very grounded characters, very solid characters, very uh, and a, a great struct, a great uh, project, and a great content starts with a great pen, and I think this is not not the exception. I think the battle between good and evil is always going to be interesting to people too. You know, it's just timeless. It helped us stay grounded too because all of like with our family, we're dealing with things also other than possessions and exorcisms. Like we have our own family dynamic where. We have a particular mother-daughter relationship, and our dad is suffering, and there's a, there's a lot of other things going on that help ground us, too. Yeah. We have another fan question, all right, from AH Universal SLO. What was the most difficult scene to shoot, and why? You guys probably... probably what's the most, what was the most difficult scene to shoot, and why? Oh. I think when we drove off the clip. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> What are we talking about? Oh. <laughs> we did spend a night firing rubber locusts at Ben Daniels with an air cannon, uh, and none of that footage is, is in the pilot, but... Uh, I stood on a hill in Mexico while they fired rubber locusts at me. And what does that even entail? Rubber locusts? locusts like little kind of insects, except they weren't. They were like this big. And they had like five cannons with um, these rubber locusts in that hurt. So I had to be padded. And they fired them at me for a sequence that was never ever gonna make the final no. cut. And, and, and we knew right from the beginning punched. that we were not gonna be using that shot. But we so they just did it for fun at like over and over and over. in the morning. <laughs> totally. It's art. Exactly, performance art. <laughs> question uh, number two from a fan. We have another question. Ashley Brook, 118, wants to know Did you do anything to scare each other while filming? Anything to scare each other while filming? It'd be fun to do. Now that I'm thinking, yeah, that's a good idea. Fun to do scary practical jokes to yeah. each other. That would no. be fun. I guess we took the pilot very seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Next season, you'll start getting more comfortable yeah. with each other, so like pranks yeah. and scares will happen. <laughs> on a scale of one to ten, someone asked on Facebook, how scary is this series going to be? Eleven. Ten. 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 Eleven. Ten. Twelve. There you go. Ten. Two point four. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> Wait, the scale goes to one's the scariest or ten? No, ten's the scariest. <laughs> How do you e each deal with fear when you're watching something scary? Like, are you the type to like cling on to the person next to you or s jump? Uh, I like eating. You just eat away Stress your fear. Just <laughs> squash it down. As I, much candy I as I can. I jump a lot at scary movies. When I saw Jaws when it came out, I when the shark first jumped out of the water, I ripped the arm off the chair. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. It's it no felt like it's that woman again. Because I was like, wow. <laughs> we're stronger than we think. Okay, well, you know, when you're adrenaline, you know. Yeah. Wow. I just cover my ears. I, I think that sometimes the sound catalyzes the damage, so I, I do that. Or turn the sound down. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. We had, uh, you know, a lot of fans are do the cosplay and they act like the characters. We actually caught uh, on video someone be, being inspired by the exorcist. So we want your reaction to this. We're okay. gonna play it right now. Okay. Beware. It's it's interesting. I've got my holy water. <laughs> Shame there wasn't a priest in the vicinity. Interesting. Yeah, we need a priest. How we was that exorcism? Or that exorcist or exorcist? Possession. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah, You're she the was expert possessed. Here. He is. Yeah. She was possessed. So on a scale of one to ten, how well did she do her performance? Oh. 
One. That was really good. <laughs> a ten. I think we should get her on the show. It was good, but if, it, if you want it to be an authentic exorcist experience, you really need to put them in a harness and throw them around the room a little bit. Yeah. I, I right, Hannah? Artist, unfortunately. She was, well, with the, her limitations of being on the ground. Yeah, she did pretty well. She did pretty well. It was like acrobatic yeah. possession. Yeah. yeah. I think yeah. she was wearing a jean as well. Yes, in a <laughs> jean, exactly. Pair of tight pants on. <laughs> to fling around like that in tight pants is no easy thing. No. I've tried it, <laughs> and I'll be trying it later. <laughs> we have another Facebook question. What is it again? <laughs> did anything weird happen on set? <laughs> no, you're like, no. Nah. Besides the shooting him with plastic gloves. There was a drive-by shooting in one of the neighborhoods and we had to lock down the set for a couple hours. Uh, yeah. But that's not a fun answer. We had a lot of fluffy cats on the, scene, the set too, though, because we were shooting cats for green screen. Okay. So we had a really heartbreaking, emotional scene happening also, on one that soundstage. That also got cut. Interesting. Anything with, with animals got, didn't make Anything it. with <laughs> animals got cut. Um, but we no, had, we had beautiful, it. painful acting on, on one set and, and fluffy cats frolicking on the next set. Uh, and both side no by side on the monitors. Yeah, no, they were they no were useless <laughs> as far as actors. They wouldn't do a damn thing when you want. Cats are the worst yeah. actors. Yeah, you can't yeah. train a cat. So nothing other, and nothing else weird. I mean, we're not haunted team. yet. Our hotel would take us to the 13th floor sometimes without pushing the button. We just get stuck on the 13th without floor without pushing the button. No. no, we'd never push it. We never pushed it, and I would get stuck, and the doors That's wouldn't open. Weird. Yeah, and it yeah, and I would just take a picture like I'm on 13 again. Yeah. I would just make very funny. Strangely, there is no 13th floor in that hotel. <laughs> <laughs> it's all in your head. Yeah. No, yeah. Do you guys shoot in scary places? Like any an actual place that had no, weird Chicago. energy? No, Chicago. It was lovely. Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> I can't wait to go back. <laughs> it's great. Uh, um, no. All right, sound stages in like Mexico real City. houses. Oh, Mexico City? Shot. Shot. Yeah. Mexico City yeah. was yeah. great. Mexico was oh, great. Oh, Mexico City, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of history to Mexico City, so no freaky stories from Mexico City. Just what you ate at that time at that restaurant. Oh. I, I, I yeah, took Alfonso you. took us for a, a typical Mexican meal, and we ate ants' eggs and grasshoppers yeah. and, and tequila. And, to and miscut. You also got pranked again. I don't think that's a typical no. <laughs> meal. <laughs> Plastic locusts. <laughs> yeah. So we have a game. It was called, biblical. Which I feel like you guys would be good at this because you have good fun energy. This is called most likely. And so each of you have to answer who is most likely to X. Uh, most about, likely. About. What? About. Well, yeah. yeah okay. It could be yourself or the other person. Most likely to have always been the heartbreaker. To, to what? Heartbreaker. Always been the heartbreaker? Oh. Jeremy. Alfonso. Alfonso. Father Tomas. Oh, really? Yeah. You're romantic. You're a little uh, romantic. Yeah, look here. at that face. <laughs> Most likely to be afraid of heights. Uh, Me or Gina? Jeremy? No, I'm actually, yeah. I'm, Jeremy, I'm very, yes. very, very Most likely. Are you scared yeah. up here in this bird's nest we're in? No, but this is, this <laughs> well, is like the sweating. limit of my comfort zone right now. Okay. Yeah. Really? Uh, uh, I'm actually uh, somewhat afraid of heights, and it's hard because I'm very tall. So it's a long way to the floor, and, and sometimes I'm just it's like, whoa, a, I'm a really a high up. It's yeah. terror with her. <laughs> Most yeah. likely to listen to classical music. Ben. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because he's totally British? not, right? Yes, right. because he's British. They just somehow think I'm cultured. No, you had the good music ideas, though. You had a lot of good... I did, I did. Yeah. I, cho I chose my own music for yep. the show. They were like, what, fa what music would Father Marcus listen to? So I said, there's this great, obscure... A uh, trend in England in the 70s called Northern Soul, okay. which is obscure American artists. And Jeremy was like, that is so cool. Let's do it. And you have two songs in the, the finished product, yeah. and they're amazing. Cool. Most likely to go to a psychic. Mm. I've been to many. Have I was going to say Brianne. Yeah. I was going to say Brianne. Psychics and mediums. Mm. I've been to You're a dog there. psychic. You can't get enough yeah. of them. Dog yeah. psychic. For my dog. Oh, what do they tell you? It seems like the ladies. I've also been to the site. I've not really? Also yeah. wasn't allowed. <laughs> All right. You do everything you're Most told. Most likely to break into <laughs> song and dance. Gina? Gina's saying a oh. lot. Yeah, Gina. <laughs> Gina. Yeah. You? You got that fun energy. What kind of music, though, do you break out or dance into, like, or a song? What kind of? Well, 
I know the lyrics to every song. Uh, every my song. brain just absorbed. I can't remember anything else. But uh, a commercial jingle, you know, I remember cigarette jingles from commercials. So uh, <laughs> she, would, she would sing uh, TV theme songs a lot on set or break, break into those. So you're the queen of karaoke, like at a party. Yeah, you're the karaoke girl. All right, lastly, well, most likely to prank. You said you didn't pull pranks on each other, but who would be the most likely to prank? Who would cause the prank? Who would cause the prank? Be the prankster. Ben. Man. Oh, I want to say yes. Ben. Maybe Mr. Room. Maybe Hannah, yes. though. Yeah. It could be Hannah. I'm sneaking. Okay. And lastly, most likely to save the world. The exorcists. <laughs> the exorcists. Yeah. The Exorcist to save the world. All right. Yeah. Well, say Gina because of your foundation Gina. and all your work. Yes, Gina. Yeah, there Gina. you go. Good, good, answer. Answer. good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. All right. Well, you guys are so great. Uh, lastly, for the fans, before you say goodbye, why should they watch The Exorcist? Yes. Watch The Exorcist. Premieres the 23rd of September. Friday nights. <laughs> Fox. Fox. It's scary. It's A night of hell. A night of hell. hell. Many nights of hell. Scare the hell for the out entire of series. Watch Thank it. you so much. Thank you very much. After we play, we're actually playing an exclusive Comic Con clip for all of you watching live on Facebook. We're also going to be bringing up your responses to our fan poll, which was Do you think exorcisms are real? It's all coming up after this. Father Marcus. What do you want? I was told you were an exorcist. Well, exactly told enough. Does, does it matter? Yeah, I think it does. Crazy person. No, I'm, I'm not saying you're crazy. I'm... There is something inside my house. It's a demon. Angela, demons aren't real. They are metaphors. It's trying to take my daughter. You're being manipulated by forces you can't even begin to understand. Father Tomas. The rising star. I think God spoke to me today. What did he say? He said, I want you to help his family. Anybody up there? You're afraid? Yeah, you should be too. Look at what we bought this. Was crazy. You guys could leave. You don't need to stay. You were supposed to leave, but you're so le you're watching. You what a great trailer! <laughs> you're allowed to leave, but you what a great show that's going to be with us. They filmed us over not my mouth. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, that's yeah, great. Enjoy the rest of the time. Con. We appreciate it. Thank you. There you go. They're saying goodbye live. <laughs> no, this is what's great about it. I don't, it doesn't matter. This is real. They wanted to say that's how much they wanted to see the trailer. It was exclusive. You see, even the cast hadn't seen it. And you guys all watched it with the stars of the show, which is so freaking cool. All right, we asked you, our poll today during this live stream was, do you think exorcisms are real? And you guys had either answered hashtag yes or hashtag no. The answers were, most people said, wow, most people, 67% said hashtag yes. Only 33% said hashtag no. So there you have it. Thank you so much for participating and for being part of all our live streams here at Comic-Con right here on Facebook.com slash Fox TV and more to come. We've got the cast of Scream Queens, literally all of them. It's going to be like the ultimate cast, cast right here at Comic-Con with me at the Fox booth. So stay tuned for that. Share this video, like our page on Facebook, and we will see you soon.